so today I'm going to be doing a video on the tattoo that I recently just got. This is my first tattoo and I got a lot of requests on Twitter to kind of talk about my experience with my tattoo, the meaning, and everything along the lines of my tattoo. So that's what I'm going to do today. I do want to mention, I know that not everyone likes tattoos and that's okay. Like you don't have to like, you don't have to like my tattoo. I'm someone who really does love tattoos and I love the meaning behind tattoos and like every tattoo kind of has a story and sometimes like like just tattoos are just like the coolest thing because it's something that's kind of like special to you and your tattoo could mean so many different things and to some people your tattoo like if someone has like a flower tattoo it's some people may just be like oh that's like a flower that's cute but they don't know like the whole story like I feel like your tattoo can like describe so many things I don't know. I just really like them. So if you're not aware with my tattoo and didn't even know that I had a tattoo, tattoo, and didn't even know that I had a tattoo, my tattoo is right here, and I'll have a close-up of it. But it says Faith, and it is on my left arm, and yeah, it's just right smack dab in the middle of my left inner arm, and I am in love with it. It means so much to me. If you guys have been watching my videos for a very, very long time, you know that this is a tattoo that I have wanted for a very long time. It's something that I waited on. For me, I mean, I'm not gonna really say this because I feel like I might contradict myself because uh, you guys already know myself with piercings. I'm very addicted to piercings. I mean, hey, look at all those. But I know that I will be getting many more tattoos, but I do want to make sure that my tattoos mean something to me. I don't want to just like do a spur of the moment. Oh, hey, let me go get a llama on my arm <laughs> you know what I'm saying so this is something that I wanted for a very long time I actually think I wanted this tattoo ever since I was 15 years old and I just turned 19 July 27th so it's something that I've wanted for a very long time and I'm very happy with it and I just love it forever but you know tattoos are permanent so for the most part you're gonna be stuck with this tattoo for your whole entire life so with that being said the word faith it really does you know it's a word that has helped me through so much, you know, throughout my anxiety and my depression that I've talked about many times. That word was just always something that, you know, was the one thing that always helped me. I just kind of wanted something that was a reminder, you know, to always just stay strong and have faith that my life will get better. And the reason why I put it on my left arm is because I chose the left instead of right because if when nothing goes right, you, you can go left. And I know, and I know that might be kind of like cheesy, like, oh my gosh, Danny, like, if it doesn't go right, then go left. But it's just like a little reminder, like, you know, if something bad doesn't, if something's going bad in your life, just know that things will turn around and you can always make a change and things will always get better. And so that's kind of why it was placed on my left arm. So for about, I think maybe three years, like I always knew that I wanted a faith tattoo, but I didn't know exactly where I wanted it. Uh, but about three years ago, or maybe even two years ago, I decided that I wanted it right in the middle of my arm. And just because like I wanted it, I wanted it somewhere where, you know, you could always see it, like somewhere that Maybe if I don't even mean to look at my arm, I'll just look down and see the word faith and it will just remind me to keep going and keep staying strong, you know. So I wanted it in the middle of my arm for literally so long. And then the day before my tattoo, I like my tattoo appointment, I wasn't exactly sure if that was the right place because I was like, uh, I don't know, like if I want it there I was nervous I was like this is going to be a permanent thing on my body like I need to make sure that this is going in the right spot so I actually um, took a pen and I wrote it here and then I also wrote it I wrote it like right here and you know I thought okay maybe I'll do it there and I just was looking at like the pen and I was like you know I really don't like it here I mean I probably will get something here but you know I want to be able to see it all the time and I know that like if I'm like walking around I'm not I'm not gonna be like twisting my wrist around like oh hey what's Gucci little tattoo like no so I really do I just was like you know what I'm sticking with the spot that I've always wanted because it's the perfect spot okay so that so that's everything on the meaning of my tattoo and kind of deciding on what I wanted and stuff so now I'm going to get on to you know 
the experience and the pain in setting up the tattoo and choosing a tattoo artist and everything. Something that I feel like is really important is that you choose an artist, you know, that you trust and so that you do your research with because again, this is a permanent thing that's going on your body. You will most likely have this for your whole lifetime unless you choose to get it removed, but even then, it doesn't fully become removed. So, you know, I've had, I've seen some pretty, pretty, pretty shitty tattoos in the past and like I just was always so afraid that my tattoo artist was gonna screw up and I would be stuck with like this botched tattoo and not be able to fix it. This one especially was something that I've wanted for so long I did not want it to get messed up and I just didn't want it to turn out terrible so I did wait a very long time for this. You know I could have got it when I turned 18 last year and went to a tattoo place and just told them to write you know faith on my arm you know it's a pretty simple tattoo but I was not about to take my chances on anyone. Even though I love even though I love tattoos, I was not about to risk no matter who the person was, like screwing up. Like that was just that was my biggest fear. I didn't really care much for the pain or anything. It was just the person, like I did not want them to mess up. So I think it's really important when you go to get a tattoo that you really know that you're going to a place that's certified, clean. You look at the tattoo artist's art and see if they're good and maybe even look up reviews of people, you know. Just make sure that you're going to someone that is gonna get, like, you're going to come out happy with because I feel like the worst thing would be getting a tattoo and literally being like, what did that person just do? I don't know, that's like my biggest fear. Like, uh, I'm just like, uh, like I can't do it. Like, you just, you really gotta trust your artist. So, you know, that's what I did. I actually, because I've wanted this for so long, you know, I would kind of look up a lot of tattoo artists in my area, ask people, you know, like, who's a good person. I'm actually really picky when it comes to tattoos. Like, I'm kind of, like, I can pick out a bad tattoo really easily. And I just, I don't know, it just scares me, you know, so. I was just still really iffy about it because I have trust issues, you know, I have trust issues, can't really deny the fact that I have trust issues, so, you know, I just, I did my research and finally I decided to go to Romeo Lacoste, I'm pretty sure you guys know who he is, um, but I saw a lot of his work and I really loved his work and I trusted him, you know, I trusted him and I was like, okay, this is the dude that I'm going to, I was like, he's going to be doing my tattoo, he's probably going to be doing all my tattoos. So, Romeo, you're doing all my tattoos. And I've, I talked to him for a long time about, like, about getting a tattoo, and then we finally set up an appointment, so that was really exciting. So, yeah, make sure that you choose a tattoo artist that you trust. So, I think that's really important, and I'm sure if you guys want to go to Romeo, you guys can go to Romeo. Um, I'll have his Twitter linked down below, and I'm sure, like, you can contact him. I know he does everyone. Um, so... That's pretty cool. And it was actually really exciting because I was planning on getting a tattoo in June and I was talking to him about it, but um, we both ended up being kind of busy in June. So actually while I was down in Cali in July, I had messaged him saying like, hey, I'm back in LA, let me know if you're available, blah, blah, blah. And I thought he was going to be booked and he ha happened to be available and I was like, yes. I drove, you know, we drove over there. And I was actually surprisingly not really nervous. I wasn't really that nervous, but I do have a thing with fainting and passing out on things. Like, I, I never really totally collapse, like, faint, but sometimes when I get piercings, my whole body, like, shakes, and it's just, I don't want to get into that. But, so I did end up getting food before I went to go get a tattoo, the tattoo just in case. Um, I just had Subway. I was like, I don't want to take any chances of passing out in front of all these tattoo people. Because that would be embarrassing. You know, little white girl drops to the floor because she faints. Okay, so when I actually walk into the tattoo place, I wasn't really nervous until I started hearing other people, you know, tattooing. Like the little that it makes. I was like, <gasps> like for like only like a minute. And then once we were sitting there for a while, it started relaxing me a little bit. So then, like, I wasn't even nervous. Like, it just calmed me down. 
Like it legit calmed me down like the zzzz. Then we're just kind of waiting for Romeo to get there and he comes and I tell him what I want and I actually think he was like, oh, that's all you want? And you know, he does really, really good work, you know? like. His tattoos are very, very good, very detailed, and I love them. And he will probably be getting a like a message from me saying, like, yo, like, come do something like on my arm, that's cool. But you know, this is my first tattoo and I wanted to test to see if it hurt. For one, I was not about to go get a huge thing on my arm and then being like, uh, don't do anymore. Like, you know what I'm saying? Then Romeo calls me and he's like, hey. We're, we're down like let's go let's do this so like I wasn't nervous and then all of a sudden I sit down you know and he starts putting in like the needle and when I think of tattoos or piercings I don't really look at them as needles I mean I know that's weird because they are complete needles but you know it's different from like a shot needle like oh you're gonna go get a shot that I just don't like like I'm just like <gasps> take that away but I saw the needle go into the little thing and I oh, I was like not nervous until I saw the needle. I was like I was like, can I leave? Like I was like, oh my god. I was like, uh like I just wanted to get the fuck out of there. To be honest, I was like Shh. I was like, what did I just what did I just do? I was like, this is the dumbest thing I've ever decided to do. I was so scared because I saw that needle and that was a big needle. He didn't even know that this was my first tattoo. I was like he was like, Are you nervous? I was like um, now I am. I was like, I'm not ready for this. And uh, he was like, oh, this is your first tattoo. And he was like, oh, no. And I was like, don't make me nervous. So I was like, please don't make me nervous. He goes to, you know, he takes, he did it kind of like freehand because, you know, it's very, very small. And usually, like, if someone was like, oh, I'm just going to, like, freehand do it, you know, I would be like, no. I was like, no. You're not going to do that because this is permanent. But, like, I trusted him because I've seen all of his, like, work and, you know, I knew he was totally chill doing it. So, you know, he just wrote it in with Sharpie real quick just to get the placement and the size. And then, you know, he just goes and he does it. And I didn't think, I thought I was going to look away. But I was, like, totally watching, like, the whole time I was like dude it didn't hurt at all there was no pain I don't know it was right in the middle of my arm which you know I'm I guess that's like one of the easiest places you know to get a tattoo but I felt no pain literally I didn't feel a thing I don't know if I'm numb in the arm but I literally didn't feel a thing and now everyone's pain tolerances are different um, I've asked people about their tattoos people say that it hurts like a bitch People say, eh, it hurts a little bit, but once it's going, like, you don't really feel it. Like, I've heard a lot of things about tattoos, and then, so, like, when I went to go get it, I was, like, like when he started doing it, I was, like, is this what people find painful? I don't know. I know that it depends on the part of your body and the shading, you know, this is just a straight line, so I had... I had no shading, which I'm aware that the shading is probably a bit, <laughs> like, that thing's like, you know. Once I do shading, I'll come back to you on that. But I didn't feel it. Out of a 1 to a 10 in pain, like 1 being the least painful, 10 being the most painful, I would give it a 0. Like, I'm not even kidding you. I don't know why it didn't hurt. Like, it literally didn't hurt. But like I said, it all depends on your pain tolerance and the place that you get it, you know. Um, if I were to get it somewhere else, I could be totally telling you something completely different. It could have been the most painful thing in my life. But next time when I get more tattoos, because yes, I am planning on getting more tattoos, I will hook you up on the deets on what is more painful and what isn't painful. So yeah, but that is my tattoo. I love it. Price range for, the price range for my tattoo, my tattoo was $100. Uh, that I think is, I think that's Romeo's starting price. So I don't even want to know how much a freaking like portrait thing would cost. Because I really want one. <laughs> Um, that's his starting price. It depends on, I know that it all depends on the tattoo artists themselves on what they charge and what, how much ink you use, blah, 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 all that, you know what I'm saying. So yeah, that is pretty much everything I think that I need to cover in my first tattoo video. Let's see if I need anything else. Afterwards, you know, 
you know, they wrapped the, he wrapped the tattoo in saran wrap, so I was able to see it, you know, um, it did bleed just a little bit, but I mean, like, you're pretty much, like, putting ink through your skin, and I don't know if you're ripping your skin, like, you're injecting ink in your skin, obviously, you're gonna bleed. Um, I didn't bleed, I didn't bleed that much, it was very, very little, uh, I just washed it with soap and water a few hours later, like he said, and it's still healing a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything for my tattoo video. Sorry, I have a water bottle right here. And I literally kid you not, this tattoo has already helped me through a few things that I've already went through like this past week. It was crazy. I actually started laughing. I was in the car and um, something was really, really disappointing and it was really upsetting. And I was sitting with my friend Kaylin, and then all of a sudden, I just start laughing. And she was like, why are you laughing? I was like, well, this whole situation going down, I was like, I looked down at my arm, I was like, this is exactly why I got this tattoo. Because I needed, like that, like I just needed to see that. And I just start laughing and smiling, I was like, thank you, tattoo. Like, you just made me feel so much better. And like I said at the beginning of this video, tattoos can mean so many things. Even though this just says, like, faith right here. I know on Twitter someone's like, why did you just get, like, one little word? But, you know, that one little word doesn't just mean faith. It means so many things, you know. I'm really big on proving people wrong. And people that may underestimate me or think low of me, you know, that's happened a lot in my life, but I have faith that one day I will get where I want to be and I'll prove all the people wrong that, you know, doubted me. And so that's kind of what faith means to me. And again, it means so many more things, but I just love how one tattoo, big or small, can mean so many things and only really you yourself knows how much that word means to you. So that's what I really like about tattoos. I just really love tattoos. I just love them. Yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you found it maybe helpful, maybe giving you some ideas on tattoos. I hope I answered most of your guys' questions. Um, if I do get more tattoos, I'll keep you guys updated. Definitely on Twitter and Instagram if I ever end up getting tattoos, I'll definitely be posting them. But I'm not gonna rush tattoos. So, we'll just, we'll be clear on that. And Danny's not Russian on tattoos. I got like a hundred years to tap me up. Who knows? Maybe when I'm 90, I may have saggy tattoos and have to get Botox injected into every tattoo. That would be so bad, but whatever. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys like my tattoo. If you guys like it, maybe you guys can go tell Romeo you like it. Or go tell Romeo that you want a tattoo from him because I honestly, like, he's awesome. He's the bomb.com dudes. Like, go get your tattoo from him. If you can get a tattoo from Romeo, go get your tattoo from him because I trust him and Danny has trust issues. And if Danny can trust Romeo, you can trust Romeo. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's it for this video. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at DannyOfficial with two L's. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And let me know if you guys have any tattoos in the comments or what tattoos you guys may be planning on getting and if your tattoos hurt, blah, 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 anything about tattoos. Let's just all start talking about tattoos in the comments because that sounds kind of fun. But yeah, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!